All right, so I want to talk a little bit about weed <laughs> um, and about cannabis prohibition in the United States. Okay, um, so up until you know the 1930s, hemp cannabis was was legal. I mean, it was like fine, you know, um, not a not a big deal, you know. Um, In fact, you know, many farmers were required to grow hemp. We have the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937. Now, this was passed. A lot of people, you know, it's if you look at this historically with racist undertones. So um, a lot of um, a lot of, you know, labor from China and a lot of labor from Mexico were brought over to build uh, American infrastructure, particularly roads and um, train infrastructure. Now, um, the issue is that, you know, cool, hey, hey, everybody, thanks for building our infrastructure. Now go home. (laughs) Well, you couldn't just make people leave. And um, just like many other Americans, and when I say Americans, I'll say white Americans, the Chinese, enjoyed opiates, smoking opiates more. Um, and Mexicans smoked weed, you know, at no, no rate more than, than white people, you know. But the idea largely was if we, if we make weed federally illegal, we can deport people from those countries back to where they're from um so yeah the law was passed and it was really about you know a sort of nationalist law to protect protect um you know our borders to protect our country to protect our economy however you want to think about it but i think about it as racist um you know from people who um weren't considered Americans, whatever the fuck that means, okay? Um, And, you know, you could, the the tax act made it illegal to possess it. I mean, I know the first person who was arrested was a white dude, um, you know, but it was really to deport people um, from the United States. There's a heavy tax on, on it as well, uh, on, on, on marijuana. Like, so, so excessively heavy, um, became hard to produce, and it became illegal to have it. Um, prior to that, there was multiple um, federal and state acts that had passed, um, you know, regulations on food and medicine that also sort of led up to this tax act, Okay. Um, it was in the 1970s, though, that Congress placed cannabis as a Schedule One drug, basically saying there's no um, accepted medical use for it. Um, you know, uh, people abuse it heavily, um, and um, it may not be safe to, to 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 use. Put in the same category as cocaine, heroin, oh, acid, LSD. You know. Uh, barbiturates, uh, psychedelics of any sort. Okay, um, so put it in that same that same area. It's obviously still in that area on a federal level, but currently, um, you know, uh, there are 29 states uh, in the United States um, and the District of Columbia that um, at least have approved medicinal. Um, approved for medicinal, uh, far less for, uh, you know, uh, um, what you would call it, um, far less for, uh, re- recreational. Uh, there's far less states that, uh, have, you know, approved rec. Um, but, um, you know, there's only as, as far as I know, two countries that have decriminalized it, which is federally decriminalized it, which means, you know, you won't, it's not a crime, is Spain and Uruguay. Kudos, respect. 
okay um but yeah so it's it's allowed medicinally in 29 states and the district of columbia i can't remember how many states exactly but i think it's like 10 maybe 10 10 11 um where rec rec is allowed oregon obviously being one um, cali nevada washington uh, my home state of Maine, Massachusetts, Vermont, Colorado, Alaska. Okay. But if you look at this map, you can kind of see it's quite telling. <laughs> um, you know, uh, where it's illegal, um, fully illegal, criminal, more or less. But, you know, some places do have... Um, you know, allow for medicinal uses. Now, listen, yo, what are the arguments for and against it, right? We'll start with just against against it, right? And this is what we've seen, you know, historical, right? It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. You may eat a whole bag of Doritos when you're high. <laughs> um, the FDA has yet to pr approve it, which doesn't mean anything, um, at least from a medical perspective, there's other things that you can take, like, you know, pharmaceutical drugs <laughs> that you can take uh, for pain and nausea. Great. Um, the main, the main argument used against it is that it's a gateway drug, that you will become a heroin addict if you, um, you know, start smoking weed. Um... You know, become a meth head, you know, whatever. Lowers your fertility rate. Still, that has yet to be proven. Um, impairs your driving ability. This is probably a good... Um, th this one is one of the ones that I kind of like, okay, you maybe should not be driving high. Um, you know, and states of Oregon, Colorado, California, etc., Washington have made a lot of money off of, um, you know... Uh, ticketing people for driving high um, and you know it's said to have effects on your lungs and your immune system and actually your brain this is your brain this is your brain on drugs I don't know if you ever saw those commercials that we got in the 80s but hot fire right there okay uh, and a lot of people think it's 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 a way of trying to decriminalize and legalize all drugs um, a lot of people, though, think, you know, it has great benefits of health. Um, it's an effective and safe treatment for so many, so many things uh, beyond, you know, nausea, beyond pain, uh, you know, for things like uh, Tourette's, ep epilepsy, um, you know, it's been used, cancer in all different ways, okay? There's plenty of peer-reviewed medicinal, <laughs> medicinal uh, studies um, that actually prove a lot of this, um, which are often um, a a countered by, you know, uh, studies that pro try to prove that wrong. Um, I mean, people have smoked weed for a long-ass time all around the world. Uh, so why you got to make it illegal? Why you got to prohibit it? You know, um, you make a fucking shit ton of money off of it. I mean, the states that have decriminalized it and made rec weed have made fucking insane money. I mean, just if you look right now, um, cannabis sales were up crazy for the month of April because everybody's home, maybe spent their uh, stimulus check on on, on the chronic, but. Um, Another argument for it is it gets rid of organized crime. Like if 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 it's decriminalized, you don't have the Mexican mafia selling brickweed up here. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have, um, you know, uh, gangs trafficking weed. You know, you have people growing it on their porch. Um, it also, you know, an argument for it is that it frees up law enforcement to like do other things versus like arresting giggling drum circle hippie stoners um you know and freeing up prison space i mean you think of all the people um, and specifically all of the people of color 
who have been arrested and put in jail, um, you know, because they had a joint. And it's, you know, depending on what state you're in, it's a Schedule One drug. And, and, and you're, you're, you face the same punishment as someone who has, a, you know, Coke or whatever, whatever it is. So the idea is, like, let's decriminalize it and, like, let's free up resources.